welcome! Today we will take a look at how to translate our themes with PO Edit. Before we start, I would just like to point out that in some Proteus Themes widgets, the text can be edited directly in the widget itself. For example, in our featured page widget, the Read More text can be changed directly in the widget. This also applies to some other widgets as well, so before you make a theme translation, please check if the widget has the option to change the text. Ok, now let's translate a theme string. For example, we will translate the write a comment text, that can be found in the comment section under the post content. First, we have to take a look at how we will have to name our translation files, depending on our language and locale. Please visit the internationalization URL linked in the description below. Search for your language and look at the full column called WordPress Locale. This will be the name of that translation file, so remember it. Now go to your admin dashboard and click on Settings General. Here you have to select your language from the Site Language option. Once you save the settings, you will see that the admin dashboard is now in your selected language. The text below the post still says Write a comment. So nothing has changed because the theme does not have the proper translation files. If you did not download and install the PO Edit software, then please do so now and open it. In the PO Edit, click on Create New Translation and select the right POT file. In our case, we are translating our RepairPress theme, so we have to select the RepairPress-PT.POT. Next, you have to select the language. Now you can translate anything that is in the POT file. For this example, we will just search for the write a comment string and translate it to our language. Once you are done with the translation, you can go to File menu and click on Save As. Now you have to save the files on your server in the Languages folder inside the Theme folder. You have to name your files correctly. Earlier in this video we check what our translation files have to be named like, so we just write that and save the file. Just a quick notice. In this video we had WordPress installed locally, but you will probably have to upload these translation files .po and .mo files to your hosting server. I will advise you to read the full knowledge base article that is linked in the description to learn more. That's it, have a great day!